Hey everyone, welcome. Today we'll be talking about team truck driver recruiting tips. So I've been getting this question a lot from so many trucking business owners that Amrit, how do we find team truck drivers? It is so hard to find team drivers and I get you. So I'm gonna solve all that problem for you today in this video and let's start the first thing with team truck drivers. So what are they? Just so for any of you who doesn't know team truck driving, it's when two people are in the truck driving not saying like two people are hold, holding the steering wheel, I'm saying one person is driving while other rest or sits and then the switch so the truck can keep running and uh, you can do more miles in less amount of time. Um, it is something, it is very strategic running. Like I'm sure any of you who is watching this already know about team driving. So I'm not gonna go too many, too much detail, but I'll just give a little bit of uh, walk over like what it is, what, what not and stuff like that. Uh, so team driving is usually you'll see is like uh, the trucking businesses who want to move a freight in a short amount of time and do more miles, you know, because then the truck is keep running and the driver, like if you have one driver, then you have to stop because you have to comply with ELD and there's only so many hours that you can drive a truck, you have to take a rest. So if you have two people, then if one drive, one person drives a truck, the other can rest recharge and then once they're out of hours then the other person can switch with them so it's a pretty good concept but not too many people want to do team driving and why would they you know like um and you know what this is something we've done a lot of research i actually had a trucking business um we currently even work with and they only run teams and they had a, such a hard time to recruit uh team teams for their trucking business uh, last year and also in 2019 when we first started working with them and it is a bit of a struggle and I'll tell you why and what you can do to actually solve this problem what's the right way to go at it the first thing you gotta keep in mind is and I talk about this a lot you know like uh, why do we have this problem first of all finding drivers because the thing is like we as humans, as much as we love to be social, but we like our own private space. You know, like think about like a husband wife or a man and woman relationship. You know, like we all have fights. It's hard to be with that person all the time. It's so hard, you know. Um, I have a friend, we used to be roommates back in the day. We used to live together uh, back in the day. And I, I hated, you know, like being with him. And I, I didn't hate the man, but I hated him in that moment because, you know, like his clothes are laying here and my clothes are laying, he's fighting at me, who's gonna wash the dishes and stuff like that. It was a little bit of a hard struggle. But now when he's gone, we don't live together. He's more of a closer friend. And I really miss him uh, at times that, hey, my friend is gone and I have nobody really to hang out with that I can really share my thoughts with. You know, so it, those kind of things. When you're in it, it's very hard, but when you're away, then you understand and you build mutual respect. Same thing goes with team driving. You know, like not too many people can be in the truck at the same time together. It's just very hard to do so. So what you need to do as a trucking business is do not try to recruit two people and make them a team. That's the worst thing you can do. And I've seen it happen so many times. There's so many trucking companies that are, that are like, hey, we match you with another team driver. Nah, nah, nah. That thing doesn't work, okay? It, it, I mean, you will have a little bit of success, but you're not gonna have like uh, teams that are uh, having so much fun and they, they run together. They're gonna eventually have a fight and then they're gonna hop off the truck. Now, it may not be true in all cases, but I'll tell you, it is very hard to put two people who know nothing about each other in a truck together, okay? So shy away from that. What you do wanna do is recruit the teams that are already out there. That's the easiest way to go at it. And there's plenty of teams out there. Husband, wife teams, brother and brother teams, sister and sister teams, a friends team. So there's a lot of people out there that do team truck driving already and you wanna recruit them. And I'll tell you how to go after them and all that kind of stuff too. So that's the first mental shift you need to have, okay? And I see this a lot in Canada and a little bit in US for smaller guys who are trying to recruit teams, you know, like for FedEx, Load or something like that. Not to go into specifics, but uh, I've seen it happen a lot. They're trying to match the people. Do not do that. Again, repeating myself, but it's very important. That's why you have like drivers quitting on you because they can't take the other person. So what you do wanna do is, first of all, find the teams 
at a another trucking company where they could be potentially working okay so you want to ethically influence these teams that work at other trucking business to come over to you am i trying to say to you steal the other trucking company's team not really i'm saying ethically influence them okay ethically influence them if you have a better opportunity you present it to them and they think okay this is a better chance to be on this is a better opportunity you be on of course they're going to come over to you that's the easiest way to go at it and what we did was last year uh, not last year in 2019 we did a survey of why drivers do not want to drive team and there was one issue that kept repeating itself it was a lot of people said no 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 just not my thing no 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 but there was one thing that was kept coming on commonly over and over and it was like uh, we wouldn't mind driving team but uh we hate when we're sleeping and the truck is moving and I was like, that is so weird. Like, I would never know about this. So, you know, like we got these like small hinters that, that were like objections of like people who may be opposed to team driving at times. And the other things were, uh, and then we did another poll with the teams and we were like, what are the best things that you like uh, driving as a team? And some of the things that we found was that the loved one, like the husband wife team, they can be together. You know, the wife or the husband isn't waiting at home and while the other person is gone. You know, like if you're a truck driver and your wife is at home uh, and you're gone for days, that's that's hard on your family. You know, I get it. Well, number one benefit being with your husband is you get to be with your husband on, on your travels out west. So if you're a team driver, uh, like a team driving couple, perfect. You both are on the road and you're doing amazing stuff. Actually, one of the things, uh, one of the closed trucking companies and close clients uh, in Minnesota, uh, they own the trucking business. It's actually a family-owned business. And uh, Mike and his wife actually, they didn't team drive it, but they used to be in the truck together for the first couple years of their marriage. And it was awesome. They loved it. Uh, they look back on those memories. So it could be fun. You know, husband and wife teams are usually the best ones uh, that you can recruit and work with. So I wanted to give you some actionable tips that you can use. The first thing that you can do is share the story of the team that you already have if you don't have a team it is a little bit bad and i'll tell you how you can go about it but if you have even one team that works for you take a picture story of them not just like a picture but like i mean take like a low video of them and be like hey john and matthew or um stacy and mike what do you like about driving as a team and then just have like a low video with your iphone doesn't have to be anything your iphone android whatever phone you have just record a simple video of them and ask them, what do you love about driving as a team? And why do you drive for me or my company or whatever it may be? Use that video to run it on Facebook as a traffic ad or whatever. Just put the video on Facebook and run a little bit of boosting to it. You know, like 30, 40, 50 bucks, whatever it may be a day. Just start showing it to other uh, truck drivers in your area, wherever you want to hire the teams from. And you'll start to see a lot of teams will get attracted to that message because it's a similar story that you're sharing of their you're taking a piece of their life and showing it back to them and we saw that work so good so this trucking company that we work with we were like who are your best like top team drivers and it was a husband and wife um james and sandra and uh they were great people uh and they did like a video and be like hey we love being together uh as a couple like we love being together you know like is like we're not away at least you know like he's not driving or i'm not driving and like he's sitting home or i'm sitting home so we love being together and it's it's fun you know you can be with your loved ones and you can make more money that's the big thing so you want to put the point of like hey you can make so much money you know like a teams can run twice the amount of miles than a single person like a single driver will run like 2200 to 2800 miles a week a team can run like almost i don't know six thousand miles almost sometimes you can do you know so it's it's very beneficial when you do so it is you can run a lot of miles and make a lot of money and it's all coming into one ho household if you're a husband wife team uh, if you're a friend and friend team then that's a different scenario but that's the best strategy you can go about record a video of an existing team that you have ask them why they love being a team who why they love driving for you and how much money they make if they can say all those things on the camera and then you can show it well on your phone and you can show it to other teams you're guaranteed to get more teams that will come to you, period. This is the secret sauce formula, whatever you want to call it. This is the easiest way 
to recruit teams for your truck drivers, period. Now on the other, other videos, I've told you like record a video of yourself or say a message about your trucking business. This is totally different from that one. This is a different strategy. Uh, you're not involved in this. It's all about the teams. Now, if you don't have a team and you just do not have somebody, uh, this is your first team that you want to recruit, then the only way you can go around by doing this is record a video of yourself. You know, you have to promote yourself and tell what you're looking for. So be like, hey, I'm looking for a team in Kansas City, Missouri, or whoever, wherever you may be, and I have this beautiful truck that I'm going to put you in. You can make these many miles. You're gonna be home this time, and uh, these are the lanes you will be running. So you say all these things to them so they know exactly where they're going, and see who else is, uh, who, which other trucking company is running those teams, and see if you can show that message to those truck drivers, okay? If you can do so, you'll be able to get drivers. Regardless, even if you just show it in the driver community, it will get you drivers talking to you and you will end up with some sort of team that you will love to bring on board. These are the easiest, simple ways to go around about it. So this was it for this video. I hope I give you a ton of value. If you wanna learn exactly step-by-step -step system, how you can find teams for your trucking business, easy peasy, then click the link in the description where I am doing a special webinar. So you can go click the link, go to a page, and there's a webinar. You can register for the webinar and learn from me the secrets to finding teams uh, for your trucking business, easy peasy. So make sure you register for the webinar and I will see you in the next video. This is Amrit signing off today.